Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, everybody. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to all of you guys uh, for being on time. It's, it's good to me, you know, have you here, you know, exactly eight o'clock. We start with the same time. So that's very valuable. So thank you guys. And it's actually a pleasure to be here with you, you know, to start a new, a new day of life, you know, a uh, day that actually is going, but we're definitely motivated. Así que vamos con todo, vamos iniciando ya este, esta jornada. It's going to be a great time. So just let's wait um, a couple of minutes because some other guys are joining in their jobs and their activities. But the most important is that we are here. Okay, so I want to ask you guys, how's your day? How's your day going? ¿Cómo va su día? ¿Cómo han estado? ¿Cómo han estado? In my case, tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. So Maybe. tired. So tired. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that was that was like uh challenging because you know working it's sometimes it's very absorbing so we had to be like uh trying to you know be positive in what we do uh, always doing the best all the, all the time working so it's something that we just need to right there's no choice we had to work y pues yo sé que pues para muchos sí es bastante cansado pero hay que echarle ganas hay que motivarse eso creo que es importante como les digo muchos dirán hey yo quisiera que Uh, I prefer to stay, to relax. No es para todos. Realmente estas clases no es para todos. Si ustedes se fijan, hay muchos, hay, hay, estos programas son muy buenos, hay muchos programas, pero hay muchas personas que no, o sea, no quieren estudiar inglés. Eh, tendrán sus razones, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, nosotros estamos haciendo una inversión súper valiosa con nuestro tiempo. Más que todo, ustedes tienen una inversión con su tiempo, pero ustedes saben como de, este es como el presente continuo, que es algo para uh, temporary situations, es decir, de que no siempre vamos a estar uh, así, ¿verdad? Son para acciones temporales, es decir, de que no siempre va a estar en clase de inglés, habrá un momento con el tiempo that you are going to speak English, que usted ya va a hablar inglés, ya no va a necesitar estar en estas clases, ya, al contrario, a usted lo vamos a dar dan, viendo ahí, dando clases, entonces, eh, por eso justamente nos aplica la regla que es for a temporary situations. We're talking about a temporary situations. So that is important. And, y es como una motivación, right? ¿Cuál es nuestra motivación? Saber que en algún momento, in some moment in life, we're going to speak English. Entonces, eso creo que es lo que cuenta. Right? A mí me motiva, también me motiva mucho saber pues, de que ustedes eh, van por ese camino y que, pues, de cierta manera voy a servirles como un granito de arena, ¿verdad? Para, para poder aportarles un poquito. Pero la mayoría de cosas ustedes las van a aprender. Así que eso es lo importante. So that is actually what works. So I would like to ask you guys, how's your day going? Eh, tell me about your day. Cuéntenme de su día. Voluntarios, cuéntenme de su día. Yes. My day. Um, busy, but alone. Alone in the office. <laughs> you were alone in the office. Yes, okay. I. I don't, I don't like. You don't like to be alone. alone. In the you, no. you don't, you don't like to be alone in the office. No. Okay. okay. I, I like, I like go, go clients, clients, and conversation with clients and work. And I like <laughs> this. You like it. All right. That's cool. That's cool. And. Uh, Well, that's okay. It's actually important. You know, we had to be positive and also having like communication with people. For example, there are some people that they like to be with others. Uh, 
hay personas que tienen como esa capacidad de, de, pues, de trabajar con otros y, like, for example, Wendy, that she likes to be surrounded by people, uh, by co-workers or clients. Pero hay personas, y eso es verdad, hay personas que le gusta estar solos en su trabajo. They like to be alone, they like to be isolated, not to be in contact with many people in the office. That they, they enjoy the privacy in the work, depending what they are doing. So that's uh, something important. I mean, what kind of worker are you? Do you like to have the interaction with other colleagues or do you like to work alone? Eh, ¿Cómo le gusta a ustedes? To work with colleagues or to work alone? Which one? ¿Cuál le gusta más? ¿Trabajar solos o con sus compañeros? With coworkers. Because this is actually uh, something important. We just need to think about it. It's like they having the opportunity, you know, to, you know, to socialize with people, to talk. It's a good experience. I, I like to I like to work with, with people. I like to work with people. In my case, I don't like to work alone. This is like uh, Wendy. Ya ustedes. ¿Cómo les gusta trabajar? Two forms. What? Two forms. Two forms. In in the in the both ways. In, in the both ways. All right. In the both ways. Both, ambos, ambos maneras, de ambos maneras, with people and alone. Okay. In my, ca in my case, half and a half. Half and half, okay, half and half. The two ways is very important. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it's time for work alone, and other times is so very important uh, contar with. Uh, for colleagues for Helaps. Colleagues, yeah. Bien, eh, estoy descargando algo en este momento, les estoy escuchando y estoy descargando algo que les voy a mostrar en la clase este día, que es sobre la encuesta de satisfacción que vamos a llenar el día viernes. Eh, se lo voy a repetir en dos, etap dos etapas para que no pase lo del nivel anterior, los que estuvieron conmigo, ¿se acuerdan? De que miren, no lo llenen. Teacher, lo llené. What? No, because we do it on Friday. Entonces vamos a llenar esa encuesta de satisfacción el día viernes. Así que si usted lo ve ahí, el, el, el mensajito, y se dice que chivo lo quiero llenar. No, verdad, no lo llene porque ese lo van a completar ustedes al final de el, en este caso, del curso que sería el día viernes. Así que don't forget about it because we're going to have time, you know, to work in this. Ok, eh... I think we have more participants in the class. We have Saira, uh, Jose Arnoldo, Wendy, Brian, Beat Be Brenda, Beatriz, Ana Lilian, Mauricio Rivera, Christian Ernesto Lazo, uh, Marisol Betsania, Mauricio Ernesto, Omar Francisco. So let's see. Six, night, 11. So we're good. We, we have a great number. That's okay. It's not bad. Okay, as we always do, uh, we were talking about the last class. We're going to take an advantage about this. And I would like to ask you guys, como siempre les pregunto, ¿qué vimos en la clase anterior? What do you remember? Just, uh, I would like to uh, el uso de would like to would like to would like to and what was the meaning about would like to in spanish what was the meaning in spanish about would like to me gustaría aha uh -huh, exactly and when do we use it when when do we use would you, would you like to para cuando, para qué momento lo usaríamos cuéntenme for what ways in what moment can we use would like to when we will be making offers and requests Mm -hmm. when we are okay offering something and also request all right that's okay because we are like thinking about something that we're offering you know uh, would you like to help me with this uh would, would you like to help me with this project it doesn't work would you like to help me to print this one would you like to add the print the printer cartridges because i can use them so we're actually talking about some uh, possible situations right in the in the continuous form. 
Así que eh, me gustó bastante porque hubo bastante interacción en la clase anterior y pasada sobre lo que son los requestings. Eh, ¿Cuáles son los problemas? The most common troubles, the issues that you experience, and you talk about the problems, the protocols to follow. It's actually the same. Well, let's continue. Voy a usar un... I think it's much better for me to use the mouse. It's because I got it with me here. <laughs> okay, I just got a lag to here, but it's like much better to me to work with this. Okay, so look at this one. We're starting this topic. Um, what is the most common problem with the printers? Lack of ink, the printer won't print, the printer gets very hot, the paper is stuck, too many paper jams, printer is too slow, make a false extension, problems with the drivers, uh, the poor quality in printings. And also the other questions that we socialized was like, how often do you use them? Like cartouches, every day, sometimes, uh, twice a day, three times. Hey, Mr. Arnold, we, we see a baby there. Is, is, your, is your daughter? Pretty baby. Yeah, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but I need to stop. I need to see this beautiful baby there. So is your daughter? Yeah, she's beautiful. She's in the class. Future English speaker. <laughs> is your daughter? No, they know it's my daughter. Oh, is your who? Uh, she is a neighbor. A neighbor. Oh my God. She wants to be in the English class with us today. Okay. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah. So <laughs> she, she's 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 be, she's becoming famous because she's on TV. She's going to be on TV. All right. Cool. <laughs> All right, that's a good. One. All right, we're talking about the use. Of how how often do you use them? Like cartridges, like every day, sometimes, twice a day, three times a day, four times a day, every day, in every moment. I use the printer, so this is what we're, we're talking about. We practice a conversation. Uh, we practice the conversations about reporting a problem, some activities. Um. And what is that? Uh, can you remember me? What is that? ¿Quién me dice que era esto? What is that? I need your help. Para que usábamos would like. Para decir me gustaría. Uh, Ajá. And this contract. And this contract. Contraction. Contraction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We use contractions, mm -hmm. right? Plural and singular. Yes, exactly. For plural and singular, and also with contractions like I liked, will like, we enjoyed it. So this is like the part of the this condition. So that was a very interesting. Vimos un poquito acerca de la regla de los, de los would you like to? I'd like to slide of cake, please. Uh, also for food, lo veíamos para para trabajo. They would like to speak to a supervisor. Would like to ship this container tomorrow. But also would es para todas las estructuras en todo momento para cualquier tema. Look at this one. Imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken, right? From four five requests about it. Y hicimos lo que es un pequeño request acerca de las actividades. Y lo hicieron muy bien todos. Ahí compartiendo your shirts, some information, some ideas in English. It was like, wow, that was fantastic. And this, we don't have to forget that. Muy bien. Ahora vamos con el nuevo tema. We, we're going to study the new topic. But before that we go on to the new topic, I would like to pass the attendance list. And I just want to talk about, well, let me see. Guys, we're about to finish this uh, model number two. So let's see what is going to happen in the third one. So I expected that all of you can continue with the course. Uh, don't stop. No se detengan. Sigan con el curso. Esto, este programa es súper interesante. Es súper bueno. Y, y bueno, tengo muchos años de trabajar en esto. Y una de las cosas que es muy importante de este curso es el número de horas. Yo sé que es matador para muchos. Más que todos si trabajan. Pero estas horas eh, son las mejores. ¿Por qué? 
porque dos horas diarias, wow, es increíble. Ni cuando yo comencé a estudiar inglés tenía dos horas Entonces, diarias. O sea, no, jamás, no tenía eh, diez horas diarias. Imagínense, entonces ustedes, el nivel de inglés que ustedes van a tener es, va a ser buenísimo. Entonces, eh, eso créanme que es súper, súper importante. Es, un, es una inversión muy buena. Así que yo les aconsejo de que sigan el programa, continue with the program, and also don't stop. Muy bien, vamos a pasar a la asistencia de Ten List. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Eh, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Eh, Brian Javier Carmona. Present, teacher. Ok. Eh, Kristen Ernesto Lazo. Present. Ok, Kristen. Eh, David Orlando Álvarez. Present. Ok. Eli, he's not. Guillermo Antonio García. Guillermo Antonio García no está. Uh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present teacher. José Rodrigo Hernández. Thank you. Present teacher. Present. Thanks. Uh, Karen Vanessa. She's not yet. Uh, Marisol Betania Pacheco. Present. Mm. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Eh, Mauricio Enrique García. Present teacher. Ok, Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Present. Eh, Mayra Veraliz Moreno. No está. Eh, Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Eh, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Eh, Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Y eh, Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. Thank you. Bien, acuérdense de que, acuérdense de que pues, eh, una de las indicaciones que se nos daba era como que ya que estamos en la última semana, es recomendable que esté la mayoría en, en, todos los, en todas las sesiones. Hay estudiantes que de repente por alguna situación que se les, se les va la luz, no sé, eh, se salen. Entonces esos minutos cuentan. Entonces si alguien dice, me voy a salir antes, eh, prácticamente está restando tiempo porque al final eh, en el sistema se puede ver cuánto tiempo ha estado usted conectado en esta clase. Entonces es algo bien, bien especificado. Y también el uso de las cámaras. Eso también está monitoreando que pues tenga encendidas las cámaras. Es parte del programa. Usted lo sabe desde sí, el sí, perdón. Uh -huh. Así como ayer que me, se me había quedado como congelado el teléfono. Que, que usted hablándome al final. Ah. Creo, que no puede, creo que no me pueden restar tiempo. Del que no, puede, no pude estar. Ah, bueno, como ese era de la entrevista, ¿verdad? Pero más que todo el de la clase. Así que no se preocupe, Mauricio. Uh -huh. Ah, gracias. Ok, eh, sí, sí, sí. Ahí lo tuvimos en vivo y en directo. <laughs> ok, so we have a new topic today that is actually related to, to the wood. Eh, vamos a seguir con el contenido de wood. That is actually the, the well, how to use wood for apply informal request. Eh, siempre usamos el wood. Uh, I will be able to fill out a complaint, uh, complaint form. Vamos a estar un poquito cerca de complaint forms eh, when we are like trying to eh, inform about some computers. I will, I will give you an example. In some companies, no sé, ustedes me dirán si es verdad o no. Bueno, o si ustedes lo trabajan de esta manera. There are some companies in which, for example, they give you some eh, laptops. For example, what I used to work before and um, they gave me a laptop. So I got a laptop for my job. So I, I can do whatever I wanted with my laptop. All the time I was with my laptop and all stuff. Tenía mi laptop y and one, one of the situations that happened is like, um, if the laptop had a problem, I need to uh, fill a form. Tenía que llenar una forma. Uh, tenía que llenar como un estilo como encuesta, una hojita with information about the laptop, what time did I use it, what was the problem with the laptop, when was the last time that I used the laptop, and what, is, what were the problems in the laptop, and everything. 
Entonces, todo lo que, lo que yo había hecho en esa computadora y el tiempo que la usé, todo eso tenía que llenarlo en esa forma, en this form, en esa cartita, y entonces tenía que mandarla. Así que eh, hoy más que todo es eso, fill out a complaint form. And we have the first activity that we're going to socialize today in the class. And let's go. Okay, let's start. Do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? That is the first question. That is the first question. Okay, uh, like this. Do you ever complain? Do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Do you ever feel complained forms? Okay, this is exactly what I'm saying. This is exactly what I used to do in my job. So nowadays it's like, I don't, I don't get some troubles like that. Eso lo hacía antes en mi trabajo, hoy ya no, porque trabajo por el momento eh, desde casa. So much better to me. But I would like to ask you guys, um, do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Okay. Do you understand the equations? Do you understand the equations? Comprenden las preguntas? Yes. What's the meaning complain? Complain, it's, it's a way to say that something is not good. Uh, or you complain or you criticize about something. We say in Spanish, it's like como quejarse. El acto de decir algo que a usted no le parece, right? So this is like, you know, complain. Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you. All right. Ask the questions because this is something good. What do you do, guys? ¿Qué hacen ustedes? Do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Porque hay gente, hay personas que dicen, hey, no, es que si yo no digo, me lo van a cobrar a mí. <ríe> no sé si han escuchado eso. He escuchado mucha gente que dice eso. People say that, you know, no, I need to report. Because maybe can, somebody can say, you know what, who broke this laptop? Or what happened with this battery? Or what happened with this desk? Or I don't know, I need to report. And it's going to be important. Okay? So. I don't understand the question, teacher. Okay. Vamos a ver, aquí hay buenos traductores. Vamos a pedirle a alguien que nos ayude a traducir. ¿Quién nos ayuda a traducir esta oración? Vamos a ver. Zaira, Mauricio, I don't know. O... Me. Ok, perfect, Mauricio. Eh, algo así como, ¿qué puedes? O sea, ¿qué, de, ¿de qué puedo comentar yo acerca de... De algo que se quiebre, algún objeto que se quiebre en mi lugar de trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, very close. Estamos algo cerca, very close. A ver, ¿alguien más que nos dirija cómo podría ser la pregunta? Teacher me. Yes, yes. Es que si alguna vez nos hemos quejado de algún artículo que se haya quebrado. ¿A dónde? ¿En qué lugar? En el trabajo. Excellent. That's good. That's good. All right. So, in, in small words, we could say que eh, siempre te quejas acerca de los productos quebrados en tu lugar de trabajo. Exactamente lo mismo. Entonces, usted dice, yes, I complain because we need to report when something doesn't work and also the tech support can help with this. Entonces, usted va a responder esta pregunta que de una manera eh, que, pues, cómo lo abordan en su trabajo. Por ejemplo, yo podría decir. Hi, teacher. I'm here. I'm Karen. Karen, ok. One second, Karen. Thank you. Oh, welcome. Okay, this is my answer. This is my answer, okay. Así que aquí tengo yo mi respuesta. 
Yes, I always report it. Uh, aquí yo, yo siempre, I will, oh, yo siempre lo reporto. I always report it when something is broken and call the specialist to fix it or replace it. Y entonces, inmediatamente, um, I, I always report it when something is broken and call the specialist to fix it or replace it. Eh, siempre lo reporto eh, cuando a, algo está quebrado eh, y llamo a los especialistas para que lo reparen o lo re, replace it o den otro diferente o otro nuevo o reemplazarlo, lo reemplacen, en este caso sería la palabra, re, lo reemplacen. Entonces esa es mi respuesta, usted va a poner su respuesta, usted dice ahí, usted puede responder, I don't report it, o oh, there are some people who does it, some other, another department is in charge of that one, me hago el que no vi nada, también puede pasar ahí, no, yo no vi nada, no sé, yo ya estaba quebrado, puede ser también, va. So you know how it is, right? So you know the what answer you can give it is. Y la siguiente, do you ever fill complaints forms? In my case, yes, I do. Yes. Uh, yes, I do. I have to, I have to give an evidence that the device doesn't work. Entonces, mi respuesta es, yes, I do, of course, of course, of course. I have to give an, an evidence that the device doesn't work. Decir, si no, eso pasaba. No, en serio, fíjense que eh, había, hay lugares donde, por ejemplo, si a alguien le dan un artículo o algo y pues no lo cuida en el trabajo, se lo cobran. ¿Ya han escuchado eso ustedes? No. Yes. Yeah, right. So, because they are, they are expensive things. Claro, eh, o sea, pero no es porque de repente el usuario se quebró y ya estuvo, no puede que pase, sino que for negligence, eh, por negligencia, que no lo sé bien, que lo maltraté, so something like that, right? But there are some special cases. And also because there are some cameras too. So, think about it. Y ya vamos a empezar a preguntar a cada uno. We're going to be asking. Bien, entonces vamos a poner, vamos a agregar a Karen. Karen. Ok, Karen, vamos a ponerle su asistencia. Acuérdense que los minutos. A mí, teacher. ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Yo, Mayra. Yo, ah, okay. Mayra. Ok, ok, ok. Va. Acuérdense que los minutos van contando, chicos. Excelente, excelente. Ya tenemos aquí two. All right, let's go. Ok, ok, ok. Vamos a ver. It's easy, easy, easy. I saw a case, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to confess something. I saw a case in which I saw a man uh, who was in charge of a department. The problem is that the, some chairs or desks, I mean, were broken, and the problem was that the guy didn't report them. That was the problem when they, the people in charge of the departments went to see what happened with the devices. Um, I mean, th there was a real mess and because he didn't report them. Entonces, cuando eh, esta persona que era encargada de ese departamento nunca reportaba que se quebraban las sillas o que de repente se arruinaban la USB, eh, I don't know why he didn't do it. I mean, he was very busy that he didn't do it. Entonces, cuando llegaron a hacer la, la inspección, pues, habían varios objetos que estaban quebrados y le querían cobrar porque el problema es que él nunca dijo nada, nunca los reportó. So, it's like a vandalism or something like that. It's like, and that's why uh, there is a protocol that maybe it's important to take into account. Okay, uh, who's ready? ¿Quién está listo? Me dice, ¿quién está ready? No, teacher, eh, la segunda en español, ¿cómo, cómo sería? Eh, do, you, do you ever feel complete form? Eh, siempre completas eh, como complaints, como cuando usted se queja, digamos, 
una hojita, ¿cómo le llaman a las hojitas que ustedes llenan para hacer como un reporte? Un reporte de quejas, podríamos decirlo. Para el reclamo. O un reclamo. Formularios. Un formulario, ajá. Yes, it's a complaint forms. Aquí la han puesto como complaint forms, que es como formulario de quejas. Entonces, en este formulario de quejas, pues usted dice, you know, uh, yo le puse que, yes, I do. I have to give an evidence that the device doesn't work. O sea, yo sí si lo hago, siempre lo lleno. Tengo que dar una evidencia de que el artículo no funciona. Porque si no me lo van a cobrar a mí. Entonces, that's why I need to be alert. So, that's why we need to report. It's because of the use too. Because of the use, because of the time, because of the production. Hay artículos que a veces están en la oficina que ya quieren cambio, ¿verdad? Ya están como que más allá que para acá. Entonces, usted tiene que estar ahí. Uh, report and take care about the different things, the devices and all stuff here. That was like a little crazy. Ok, ¿quién más? ¿Quién, quién, ya, ¿Quién ya terminó? A ver, voluntarios. Ready, <laughs> digo yo. <laughs> ok, Wendy, go ahead, you can do it. <laughs> bueno, uh, en la primera, on the first. Yes, I always say at my boss, and he replaces or fix. He replaces or fixes. Replaces, replaces. Or fixes. Replaces or quería poner mandar arreglar. ¿Cómo sería? Fixes. Fixes. Uh -huh. Sorry, cierto. <laughs> yeah, acuérdese que como es tercera, yes. per tercera persona, pues se le agrega la S. Sí. Um, yes, I always say at my boss and he replaces or uh -huh. fixes. Exactly. That is the, the second, the second. I don't have complete forms. It oh. is informal. Oh, you just you just say it. O sea, que usted solo lo dice. You just say it. Yes. Okay, so you don't have to form uh, to complete anything. Only, All right. Only say. Only say. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right, that's okay. Muy bien. Uh, let's continue with the with the next part of the statement. So let's see what happened with this. ¿Cómo se dice eh, reemplazar? Replace. 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 Thank you. Eh, do you want me to write? No. No. Okay, cool. Teacher. Hi. Teacher. Una yes. pregunta. Mire cómo se dice mobiliario. Eh, furniture. Like this. Um, se escribe furniture. Algo así. Yes. Uh, yes. Furniture. Furniture. Look at, the, look, at the, look at the screen. Ahí se lo escribí. Look at the screen. Furniture. Yes. Gracias, teacher. All right. Teacher. Hi. Eh, ¿Puede pronunciar eh, el encargado de mantenimiento? The maintenance. Maintenance. I'm sorry. Maintenance, que es mantenimiento. Mm -hmm. And you want to say encargado de mantenimiento. Yes. It's like a maintenance manager. It podría ser un manager. Like maintenance manager. 
Okay. Like this. Uh, y si digo maintenance guy. No, guy? ¿verdad? No. Suena muy informal. No, es como, como un chico de mantenimiento. Pues es un chico. ¿Ah? Pues es un chico, no sé si cuenta. Pero sí, pero es la posición. Es de pos the job position. Pero es de position. Okay, entonces, ahí. Maintenance manager. Manager, o si no es un manager, podría ser un worker. Like a, a maintenance worker. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Oh, all right. So I'm ready. Okay, can you can you share your information, please? Okay, the number one. Yes, I always report every device on fail, and always uh, be fixed or the device or be replaced. And the number two. Yes, I complain forms for giving information about our broken or failed the devices. And I inform every situation. Okay, that, that was great. I really like it because that was a great description. So, I mean, talking about what to do with this, all right? That's actually cool. That was actually cool. All right, thank you, thank you. Uh, who else would like to, you know, to practice? Okay, next. Yes. Yes. Those. Ready? Yeah, okay, share your information, please. Uh, the fear question, answer. No, I don't in my work area. There are uh, there there are only only cables. Uh, to question answer, no, I don't. Okay, only cables. Where you are are only cables. Yeah, there like there is nothing to to break or nada de quebrar. No hay nada que se pueda quebrar ahí o que no funcione. Only my arms. Only my arms. Uh, oh my god <laughs> yeah yeah, my, yeah so, my hand <laughs> on your hands like only, only physically oh my goodness okay all right that's okay thank you because that was a great answer okay quién es más por ahí eh, que están callados me teacher ¿Eh? yes please you can start um number one um do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace. Yes, I maybe complain about the printers, cables, and mouse. And number two, do you ever fill complaint forms? No, never. We replace it. Uh, so, I mean, nothing that, you know, uh, fill a complaint form no you replace it automatically you replace it o sea que ahí solo de una vez a reemplazarlo nada de, de, de fix it ok all right so that's ok because I mean that is a good way to quien más quien es más Me. somebody else yes yes and my work um, no report uh, my my boss always reemplaces the articles um, item from time in the time. Replace uh, number two. Replace mm -hmm. article. Replace. Re replace articles. Replace article. Right. Okay. Uh, number two, no necessary. Okay. Interesting because I mean, not always you have to fill uh, a complaint forms that that's okay. All right, uh, next, who's next? Who's next? Teacher, me? Yes, yes, please, what? please. Okay. Uh, one, uh, yes, I usually report the then boss. Two, 
Yes, I do. I have to show the faults. Es como mostrar el averiado. Ok. Eh, yeah. The broken, the broken item. Broken item. Yes. Yes. Ok. All right. Ok. So we're talking about the broken item. All right. Thank you. That was good. Okay, somebody else because we need to show something else. Okay, what is the next one? Who's the next? Who's the next? You can do it. You can do it. Hay algunos que calladitos, calladitos han estado hoy en la clase. Así que seguimos. Pero es por el sueño, teacher. Esta hora tenemos que estar activos ahí. Hay algunas caras que, que quieren, pero no quieren. Es el veamos, veamos las mías. A ver. A ver Número a ver. one. Yes, I sometimes report the magic things. Thing. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. Number two. Yes, I do. I always feel out my report for my boss. Okay, that was grass for actually great. Very good, very good. Well, we're going to have a conversation today that is actually part of the class and also we're going to have a practice. Look at this one. It says, listen to your teacher, read the conversations and then practice with the partner. Okay, look at this. I want you to focus about this reading this conversation because later we're going to have a conversation too so for this i want you to pay attention clearly and then we're going to practice uh thank you for calling the it department hello my name is maria ochoa and i need a file uh need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer in parentheses i'm sorry to hear that uh, please describe the problem it was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today let me say, someone with the complaint form, we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. So, wow, that's, that was a speed uh, to solve the problem. Okay, we're going to try it again. We're going to try it again. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal in parentheses computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with that complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. Vamos con esta práctica. Eh, necesito dos voluntarios para que me lean esta conversation. Two volunteers. Me. Eh, who says me? Eh, Mauricio Rivera. Mauricio Rivera, ok. Eh, who else? Mauricio Rivera. Son María. Who? Eh, Mazariego. Mr. Yeah. Mazariego, ok. So, Mauricio Rivera, you can start. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Mariko Choa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please scribe, scribe the problem. It's not very wrong. And I didn't, and it didn't turn on today. Let let me send someone with a complaint form. We can set a new computer in the in no time. Thank you. Yes. Excellent. You are welcome. Super, super. Um, I file a complaint about my terminal. Okay, describe was yesterday. It didn't turn on today. Okay, I think it's great. It was a great conversation. Okay, two volunteers, two other volunteers to practice this conversation. Okay, who wants to help us to read this part? 
Me, Zaira. Okay, Zaira. Me, Karen. Karen. Okay, Zaira, you start and then Karen continue. Okay. You can Thank say your you. names. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. Yes. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and I didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Oh, that was good. That was good. I mean, every time, you know, like you were sounds like very fluent in the conversation. So that's the way that was the way we get it. So we just like try to practice and it sounds like natural. That sounds like if you're speaking in Spanish, que suene tan natural que parecería que usted está hablando en su propio idioma. Y esa es la idea. Y muchos cuando leen aquí, yo escucho que leen y leen como que si fuera ya su idioma. Ya nada de que eh, make poses, doubting, uh, with difficulty to pronounce. So just like you're doing what you have to do. I really love it. So that was amazing. Okay, who's next? Who's next? ¿Quién es el siguiente? Two volunteers. No todos, no todos, chicos, por favor. Solo dos, solo dos. Veo que todos tienen, yo, yo no, tranquilos. Solo dos necesito. A ver. Mayra. Lo que pasa es que si no, si el, ah, o sea, por gusto, no, aunque digamos todo con error, no, vamos a ver. Que levante la mano. Ya, yeah, pues sí, que participe. Ay, llegó, teacher. Ey, se frisco. <risa> llegó. <risa> se pisó. Yeah, oh, sorry. Sorry. Ok, ¿quién era? Mayra, ¿quién estaba hablando? Mayra, eh, ¿quién más? Yes. No, pues no era yo, teacher, pero pues sí. Va, entonces, Mayra, usted va a ser Mike. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más acompaña a Mayra? Alguien que no haya participado, yo no he escuchado todavía. A Brian, teacher. Brian. Yo quiero a Brian, ajá. Ok, ok, Brian. Eh, Brian. Sentimentales después. Ok, Brian. Usted sería. Sí. Eh, Mayra. Sí, sí. Yes. Ok, teacher. Sí. Ok, go ahead, Mayra. Bye, yo soy Mike, teacher. All right. Bye. Thank you for calling. Today, I keep driving. Hello. My name is Maria Choa. I need to fill a complaint about my wall terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint for we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, that was, that was great. Thank you. That was a great, great practice. All right, that's awesome. Okay, two volunteers. Um, two other volunteers. Eh, dos voluntarios más que no hayan participado por aquí. Hay algunos que no han participado. Que estamos... Jenny, teacher. Me, teacher. Me. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. You can start. ¿Quién comienza? Yo. Okay. All right, thank, cool. you. thank you for calling the AT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't didn't turn on today. Let me let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Super. That was, that was great. That was a great part. Yes. Thank you so much. So the IT department, the IT department. Um, okay, next. Who's next? Uh, okay. ¿Quién más? Me. Okay. Um, uh, who else? Who else join her? ¿Quién más va a practicar con ella? Con Anna Lillian. Who else is going to practice with Anna Lillian? Me, teacher, Omar. Mr. Uh, Hernandez. Okay, Mr. Hernandez. Okay, you can start, Mr. Hernandez. Okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Shoa, and I need to, to file a complaint about my board terminal computing. I'm sorry. To hear that, please describe the problem. I was very, very slow. No. I was very slow yesterday, and is the is they uh, turn on on today. Let me send some with a complaint form. We can we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. We can send a new computer. Uh, can you repeat? Uh, we can send a new computer in no time. We can send a new computer computer in no time. Yes, sounds like uh, you know naturals. One advice, uh, one advice that I can give it to you in those cases when we are like um, we pronounce a word and it's like make poses. Una recomendación es eh, practicarlo varias veces hasta que uno sienta que lo puede pronunciar bien eh, para todo, para párrafos, para estructuras y eso ayuda muchísimo. El, el repetitions you know, that can help. You practice so many times that you get familiar with the pronunciation and also the words. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando usted ocupa la palabra can send, estoy seguro que más adelante usted esta palabra la volverá a ver. Entonces, es importante, you know, the practice. So, that was good. That was a great job here. So, vamos a ver. ¿Alguien más? Eh, ¿Dos más? Para que tengo algunos que todavía no han hablado, entonces no quiero decir nombres. <laughs> o oh, sí. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Una consulta, teacher. Yes. Tell me. ¿Cómo se, cómo se traduce donde dice in no time? Uh, we, we can send a new computer es decir, in no time is giving a reference that que no se van a tardar en, 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 en enviarla sino que la van a mandar de inmediato we can send a computer in no time significa que no, no va a dar un tiempo en específico sino que, que se la van a dar lo más pronto posible, in no time gracias ok También, in no time significa al instante. Eh, I, love, I love to speak Salvadorian phrases. I mean, I love to speak, eh, eh, well, there are some Salvadorian phrases about people that they like to socialize eh, in no time, que es al instante. Eh, se la vamos a mandar una, pero ya. Hay gente que dice, se la voy a mandar para ayer. No sé si han escuchado esa frase. Alguien decía por ahí, hey, ¿y para cuándo era ese trabajo? Era para ayer. Y yo, ah, o sea, para hoy mismo, right? So people use a lot of Spanglish. So this is like in no time. So in este preciso instante, in this precise moment. Okay, next, next, next. Well, just give me one second. I need to add the charger to my, to my 